1864, one of the years of supposed prosperity in India. British India's Bangalore started its first railway operations from Bangalore Cantonment connecting Jolarpetai in Tamil Nadu. The station operates on two platforms till date as it originally began. The establishment of Bangalore Cantonment in 1809 made Bengaluru a crucial center for military operations in southern India. This led to the requirement of a better and reliable transport system between Bangalore and Madras. Although this seemed as a step taken by the British to facilitate the common people, the truth remains different. Researcher and historian Arun Prasad, as mentioned in an article by Economic Times, states that they used it to transport soldiers, goods and weapons. It was much later that this was opened up for the public. This railway station played a crucial role in the famine of 1876-78. The relief supplies were transferred with ease only due to the Bengaluru Kant and Jolar Petai railway line. Archives indicate that the constructions were done by Madras Railway Company, London. Construction started in the year 1853 and continued for almost 10 years. The station was renovated in the year 2017. This made the original slab of unveiling disappear. This 160-year-old station is set to get a whooping 450 crore makeover again. Total of 119 passenger trains end, start, pass on the station. This station connects to more than 499 stations across the country. Let's get a better view of the oldest railway station of Bangalore. In order to handle the high number of people utilizing the railway during the Victorian era, the station was designed with spacious waiting rooms and platforms. Travelers were treated to a comfortable and opulent ambience in the waiting rooms, which frequently had high ceilings, huge windows and elaborate details. One of the building's most noticeable features is the station's clock tower, which is a typical example of Victorian railway design. The clock tower acted as a functional and adorning feature of the station, giving visitors a visual reference for the hours of train arrival and departure. The Bangalore Cantonment Railway Station is a symbol of not only the prosperity, the establishments and the success of the British rule in India, but it has also been used as a place of celebration multiple times over the years under British rule. One such instance was the Diamond Jubilee of Queen Victoria in 1897 when the station was decorated and illuminated and various special train services and events were also conducted here. The railway station was a place from where highly dignified British officers and officials used to leave from and come to as well. It was regarded as a very important station in the British era as these arrivals and departures were also a moment of celebration for the people just like the inauguration of new railway lines and trains by the officials. Celebrations held by the British colonial administration in India during this period often reflected and reinforced the unequal power dynamics between the colonizers and the colonized. The Victorian Gothic revival design is evident in the station's imposing arched entrances and windows. The arcs frequently feature elaborate mouldings and pointed ends, emphasizing the station's opulence and significance. The facade of the station is decorated with exquisite carvings and decorations, including floral and geometric motifs. These ornamental details, which are typical of Victorian architecture, add a feeling of wealth and elegance. 
cast iron brackets and columns, a common feature of Victorian architecture, support the interior of the station. The station's beautiful appearance was further enhanced by the employment of complex and sophisticated decorations made possible by the use of cast iron. We spoke to one of the shopkeepers in the railway station. Railway station engi da eli ana. Yena idhi ana. Allad kono kola idhi. Yen tondre eli aadhe reeti aagi tondre illa. Amale. Idu British or Kathi rado. Ana engi gothi thana. Awa ka gothi la namge. Aavondu moorosi aiti eliye. चेनाटेशन मात्र ये रीति तौंद जन तौंद कर्नाटक फस्ट आगे अद्विद लुक रेल स्टेशन सिटी तको बैपन स्टेशन तक अदिंत चेन स्टेशन रीति अनुकूल आर्चे आर्चे फ्रंट आर्चा इंप्रूवेंट आगते प्रेक्षणीय स्थल जन अनुकूल प्रयाण कटिदी बैंगलूर कलचर बैंगलूर कलचर हिंग कलचर मर गिड जन रीति सैलेंट गद्ल गलाटे बर मकल बंद अस्टे दौडवर बंद अस्टे रीति अनुकूल अंगड़ीवर आगे स्टेशन आगे तुम्हारा वर्ष <laughs> अनुकूल सर यूदारमेंट कस्टमर्स गद्ल गलाटे कड़े स्टेशन कोलियाडी आस स्टेशन स्टेशन रीति जन अनुकूल आगते जन बस मेट्रो अनुकूल इन ट्रेन जन बंद राबड़ी तुम्हारे It linked Bangalore to other significant Indian cities, aiding the flow of soldiers, cargo, and people throughout the nation. During the colonial era, Bangalore's development was influenced by the station's proximity to a British Army cantonment area. The station was crucial in establishing a connection between the cantonment and the rest of the city because the cantonment area was intended to be a self-contained military garrison. 
The station was intended to be a regal and commanding building that would symbolize the authority and influence of the British colonial government in India. Because of its elaborate design and large size, the colonizers and colonized uneven power relationships were further reinforced. The station is now regarded as a significant historical site and a reminder of Bangalore's colonial heritage. Throughout its history and up until the present, the station has hosted a number of cultural events and festivals. We mean to answer the various questions that you may have about the structure, its current influence and more. So let us discuss the same. Bangalore is the capital of Karnataka, something the British administrative put into place. The railway station is one of the firsts in the city. One can find a lot of colonial influence in the city through this landscape as because of the railway, the communication and transportation led to improvements around the city such as churches, cafes, schools and more. Colonial remnants that are now central to the city are extremely important but that was not always the case. They were put in place for the ease of the British administration and are now for public use. The railway station made the transportation of goods as well as labour easier which was extremely essential for the infrastructural development of the city. Although, how do the structure fashion the nature of the city? Well, as mentioned previously, this railway station was used for British military purposes along with the transfer of food grains and weapons. But during the Great Famine of 1896-78, to the railway line between Bangalore and Jalore Petai proved to be crucial for relief supplies. One may ask, does this structure intervene with the day-to-day -day life of the residents? Well, that is not the case. This structure has absolutely not intervened with the day-to-day -day life of the residents. It rather facilitates the smooth function of the city and the residents are well connected with the train throughout the important centers of the city. The importance of the station has however decreased over time, with the introduction and expansion of metro lines as they are more comfortable, faster and cheaper. But Nevertheless, the beauty and the comfort that is in the Bangalore Cantonment Railway Station and the architecture can never be matched by any metro station that is there.